Hello internet and welcome to another video. About a I did a group project in a, uh, in a software development class uh, thing and uh, well, I was I was fairly fairly happy with how how the stuff I did turned out so I figured I'd just show it off a little bit here in a, in a video. So the the idea of the project was to take a board game in this case uh, Pandemic which is a cooperative uh, game versus uh, disease and uh, turn it into a video game which was which was pretty fun it was it was difficult the most difficult part was the fact that it was multiplayer and network uh here i'm just opening two clients on my computer and playing the turns for both of them one of them is off screen the stuff that i worked on that i wanted to show was mainly the animation system uh some of the gameplay stuff and uh, all the ui components so the animation system was cool i wanted to make my own animation system that could be used for like anything in the game the reason I felt that this would be easier than just having like a regular like stock animation thing is because everything in the game was based on calculated positions. So instead of having uh, armatures or whatever, and I wasn't that familiar with Unity's system as well, so I figured just just made a, made one global animator thing, which actually handled all the animating, all the movements, and then whenever you wanted to animate something, just tell the animator what object you want, the type of animation, you know, position, rotation, scale, whatever, whatever, uh, the start and end values, the length of the animation, the interpolation type, so you can throw in any interpolation, interp interpolation that you want, <laughs> uh, linear, S-curve, whatever bizarre function formula you want to come up with, and a callback that is called when the animation has been completed. And this is uh, this is cool because it worked for everything. It worked for the camera motion, all the pawns, all the UI animations and all that. And the callback was neat because it would allow animations to be strung together without having to worry about the individual lengths as well as uh, controlling stuff that was supposed to happen like afterwards after the animation had finished so uh, maybe like you can only do something after the pawn has finished moving all like four squares or four cities away or something like that so that was that was neat in terms of the uh, gameplay i mean we're basing it off a board game so it's not inherently a video game and, and in the way it was implemented wasn't perfect of course but it ended up working well for what we needed um it used a lot of events and delegates which helped a lot with the um, compartmentalization keeping stuff separate uh, that didn't really need to know about each other, so I guess decent separation of concerns. For example, the map didn't know what was going on in the cities. Each city had no sense of what the heck was going on in the game or the state or anything, but it would just remove, as soon as it got the sim signal to remove a tube or remove a disease tube, it would do whatever, whatever it was told and then whatever was supposed to happen next after that happened. Uh, it also allowed for um, quite a bit of reuse. Like, all the cities were all the same thing, all the cards were pretty much the same thing, every, every player had their own card debt, and it was handled exactly the same way. Combine this with the animation system from before, uh, made really like a pretty powerful overall system that was really flexible. And For example, the camera. All the camera controls and movements are all done using um, this like event delegate system as well as the animation system so you can move the camera and if you click on something it does the zoom in but you can only click on stuff after it finishes zooming in and you know all that type of stuff. In terms of the actual gameplay design what I what I was trying to go for is something more video gamey. Like we were adapting a board game to a video game but didn't want it to really feel like you were just playing a video game of playing a board game because that wouldn't be fun that's not the point of not really the point of video games i mean unless <laughs> unless you're into solitaire or whatever but in terms of a game like this uh, i thought it would be neat to try and adapt it to make it feel more like an actual video game that you're playing and that was kind of the same idea with all the ui stuff as well i made all the ui elements from scratch instead of uh instead of using the the actual cards and and boards and and pawn things that we were uh that we were given, well, that exist in the actual game, so that it kind of was more a little bit like stylistically consistent, made it feel a little bit more uh, futuristic and a little bit more video gamey overall. Well, that's about it. I, I mean, I know I'm, look, I'm the first person to uh, admit that the the project has its flaws and whatever, but I'm, I'm pretty happy overall, given the constraints that we had, how well it turned out. Of course, there were also other things that uh, in the class that influenced that, but overall, I think it, I think it went fairly well. Anyways, 
uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.